Hola, científicos. How are you today? Sounds great. How many of you have gotten to enjoy the warm sun today? Ooh, awesome. Did anybody observe the night sky yesterday? Wasn't it hard to see? We had a new moon, which means a new lunar cycle is starting. So we did not get as much moonlight in the night sky. These nights tend to be really dark, which makes it easier to see the, star see the stars though. But you know what, Cientificos? I'm still having a hard time understanding how the sky changes. It's not like my house. When I'm home, if it's dark, I turn on the light by flipping a switch. But there isn't really a switch <laughs> that we flip to change the sky. So I asked some scientists for help, and they delivered. They said they would help us out by sending a model of the Earth, our moon, and the sun. So they did. Would you like to see it? Great. Let's check it out. We can also identify what we see. So this is our model. Here we have our sun. This is us on Earth. And this is our moon. All right? So this is a model because it's just an example and not the actual size of our planet. A model shows us how things work. So just know that this all happens a little differently in real life. Today, I would like for us to play with this model. I mean, use this model and make some observations. I'm going to make it go around one time. Let's make some observations while I do that. So to make it go around, I'm going to push on here. And we're just going to watch. So look at the Earth, look at the moon, the sun, what's moving, what's not. Hmm. All right, almost all the way around. What did you notice, Cientificos? What did each item do? Oh, yes, yes, yes. Scientists, scientists, can I write this down? OK, great. Uh, I loved this one thing I heard. Somebody said that the Earth spun the whole time. Did anybody else notice that too? I also noticed that. So I'm going to write that note. The Earth always spins. And we're going to capitalize Earth because that's the name of our planet. Earth always spins. Let's draw some arrows going like that. Show spinning. All right. What else did you notice, scientists? Oh, yes. Many of you noticed that the sun's light stayed on even when the Earth would spin. Maybe I can write, the sun stays lit. I think that would be good. The sun stays lit. Stays lit. And let's make some shining marks come out of it. Awesome. And what can we write about the moon? Ah, I really like that. The moon spins with the Earth around the sun. You make it sound like they're dancing. <laughs> the moon moon spins with the Earth around the sun. Uh, uh, uh. Mm -hmm. N. The moon spins with the Earth around the sun. Great. Great job, scientists. We're not done yet, though. I want us to keep making some observations. There's still some things that I want to know. So, I now can see that the Earth spins, and so does the moon. 
and the sun stays in the middle and is lit the whole time. What I'm having a difficult under under time understanding, ooh, and speaking, is why the sky doesn't always look the same. Yesterday when I shared my video, we saw that it was daytime for me and nighttime for my friend. Let's see how our model can help us out. Oh, I'm going to start by locating myself and my friend on the model Earth. Let me find San Francisco and put some tape on it. I need to find the United States. Ah, San Francisco. We're so little. All right. So we're right there. And now France. Got to move a little bit. Oh, wow. Paris, that's France. Wow, we're so far from each other. Let me show you. Whoop. <laughs> so you have to cross an entire ocean to get to my friend in France. Now, let's spin it. All right. What's happening? Oh, OK. Maestra friend, maestra friend, maestra friend. All right. Y'all can't see that. Let's move it here. OK, so when I move on the Earth, so does my friend, because we're both on Earth, and it's all moving. OK, I'm not sure if I'm getting it. Oh, no, and I just realized that we're running out of time. I think we'll have to continue observing our model tomorrow. <laughs> well, today, after I'm done watching the show, I'm going to go outside and take some pictures of the sky. We'll observe these photos tomorrow so we can continue our investigation. You can observe the sky, too, and see what you notice. Observations are really important when we're conducting science investigations. Well, can't wait to see you tomorrow, scientists.